Oh, boy. You ready? I'm ready. But I will say <clears throat> that my first bit of shit talking is just that you enjoy this way too much. That's a knock on your character. Because I'm a mean person. Yeah. Right. So I might as well just keep rolling. Uh, <laughs> your accomplishment is that you lost a bunch of weight. Wow. Red carpet, folks. Amazing. <laughs> Gandhi, MLK, Ethan fucking Supli. Yeah. Pretty much. Next. I mean, are we just shooting these off? Because I want to get in line with those people and take my appropriate place. <laughs> At the top. At the top. Yeah. Move over, Gandhi. What the fuck did you ever do? Okay. Um, Mike, you may have your followers tricked, but I know you're a morally bankrupt corporate GMO big pharma <laughs> shill. Oh. I don't know that's fake. <laughs> you know what's fake, Ethan? Hollywood's fake. You're fake. That's it. It's all a fucking lie, and everyone knows. Yeah. Okay. Again, that's uh, true. Mm -hmm. You always say training close to failure is good for muscle growth, but you usually leave 10 reps in the tank. What's up with that? Yeah. Well, there are men and there are gods, which is to say there are me and then there are Lyle McDonald's. <laughs> and I'm just not, I'm just not tough enough. You know that you've trained with me before. Unrelated. What is your favorite moon juice flavor that your butler gets for you every day? I don't know what moon juice what? is. What? Does anyone else know what moon juice is? Moon juice is a preposterous Hollywood scam of a quote unquote restaurant. It's like a juice place. Okay. And it's like exorbitantly expensive. And the lady that owns it puts like 50 trillion different herbs in the shit and they don't do anything. It's like the ultimate Hollywood thing. I think that's my children like something like that called creation with a K, mm -hmm. which always makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Why has it got to be with a K? Something new, something different. The kids just won't pay attention to it. Yeah. I've had, um, I've had this and I, I do err on the side of heavy, um, nuts. <laughs> nut butters. <It's> like <laughs> so you, you like a lot of nuts. Yeah, I like mm. a lot of nuts. Mm -hmm. um, you've used my bathroom at my house, and I've been in yours. What's with all the baby powder? Jesus Christ. These motherfuckers told you too much. <laughs> <laughs> TMI, but you don't use baby powder? No. Fuck, how are you so, you're the genetic elite. Let me explain something real quick. When you get to a certain size and you're not like gifted like yourself, your nether regions start rotting okay. until and unless they are dried completely mm -hmm. all the time with baby powder, copious amounts. So I thought it was a fat people thing. All fat people knew. No. Back when you were like 530, you weren't using baby powder? No, that's you, you honestly like God blessed you. Yeah, I, I, I know that's true. Why don't you ever pay attention to your training partner, Jared's technique and just do better. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag do better. <laughs> do better. <laughs> Jared is a cocksucker and he lies a lot. And <laughs> all these things he told you to say were fucking lies. I do want to say. <laughs> That Charlie in the text tr train, where it was me, Charlie, and Jared, Charlie was mostly just laughing. Yeah. And Jared had a lot to say, huh? Jared had a lot to say. Charlie did, did say that the baby powder was an issue. The baby powder is definitely an issue. Um, as far as Hollywood status is concerned, what do you like? Uh, D-list, E-list celebrity? F-list? Yeah. F-list means something else, I think, in the industry. It does, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That was supposed to be my big insult. <laughs> um, you should probably see a psychiatrist about your newly found addiction to step tracking. Kind of weird, man. These are all like things Jared hates about me and he's venting through you. <laughs> he, he, I said, I need stuff. 
because I'm generally not a mean spirited person who thinks critically of others. I'm tend to just go like, I like that guy. Yeah. You're the kind of person that likes to compliment themselves in public by saying you're not mean spirited. Yes. Critical. Mm -hmm. Jared had a lot to Jared's say. A mean, Jared's a mean guy. Jared had a lot to say. Um, I never liked remember the Titans just for the record. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Earl. Never heard of him. <laughs> Why do you hate fat people so much? <laughs> <laughs> this could go very poorly if released out of context. <laughs> That's really good. Mine is related. Um, did you gain weight recently? Because you really look like you gained a lot of weight. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's terrible. That was my last one. Okay, wait. I have one more. Um, the entire internet is waiting for this. We need you to nut up or shut up. Lyle McDonald, 2021. That's right. Well, it's not going to happen, internet, because I'm a pussy. <laughs> All right. We fucking did that. It wasn't so horrible. I was no. a little scared. No. Um, I will say that I think Mr. McDonald doesn't quite understand the difference between objective and subjective. I think he thinks objective is whatever he perceives. Definitely. He also has a couple of other illusions. One, a repetition speed is not as closely linked to failure proximity as he would like to believe. Many people have a repetition that's their last completed one before their technique goes to hell or they can't lift that looks almost as fast as their last or as their attempt. Uh, some people just grind to halt. Some people's first rep in a set of 10 looks like a grinder and then they just get 10. So his heuristic of using repetition speed to predict failure is false right out of the gate. Secondly, he doesn't seem to understand the difference between technical failure and absolute failure. Absolute is like when you just do whatever it takes to lift the weight up, which is seemingly what he's doing. Technical failure is if your next rep is going to have to be bad technique to get, then you stop. You're so, failed. Yeah. So a lot of times everything looks fine and you stop and people are like, what are you doing? You're like, the next one would have been dog shit. And even because we're really sticklers on technique we have to make sure that we stop before things go to hell. Cause here's the funny thing, right? Lyle gives me shit on YouTube for, um, not going close enough to failure. If I did that extra rep and my technique went a little bit, how many people you think give me shit for, uh, oh, look, well, that last rep looked like shit, Dr. Mike. I thought you were Mr. Technique. So right. that, that, that is, listen, I, I don't know that I know nearly as much as even Mr. McDonald knows about this kind Nobody of thing. Nobody really does. You know? No, I certainly don't know as much as you, the way I gauge failure, this has been my overreach week. The way mm -hmm. I oh, cool. gauge failure That's is- That's why you weigh 280, motherfucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if I can't do another perfect rep, yeah. I'm That's done. how you're supposed to. Yeah. I'm doing bench press by myself in a gym. I don't, what do I, if I can't get it up, I'm just then the guy in the gym with the fucking thing on my chest. I can tell when it's done being sure. a perfect rep. For sure. And it may look just fine. Yeah. This is something only insane people argue, and luckily Lyle overqualifies for that one. Yes. Ethan, are you ready for- Yes. Let me tell Richard- great interview. 